friends, welcome back to Chef Charity's Favorite Things for things caking, baking, and otherwise. Uh, brought to you by American Cake Decorating Magazine. Go to the link in my bio or within the text of this post and you can get 20% off your new subscription to American Cake Decorating Magazine. You will love that magazine, it's fantastic. Um, today, we're talking about another one of the most important ingredients in all of baking and that is butter. One of my favorites, Julia Child, is smiling down on us right now. Yes, her favorite is butter. So my favorite company for butter is Challenge Dairy. Now, I do realize that Challenge Dairy is way more prevalent and available in the Western states. So I'm sorry, East Coast folks. Uh, you can still go to challengedairy.com and put in your zip code and see if you can find it. Um, but I really, really love this stuff. First of all, they have the regular. Then they have their European that has uh, lower moisture, higher butter fat, so uh, deeper, richer, creamier texture for things. And then they also do this Danish creamery stuff. It has 85% butter fat. Yum. Yes, fantastic. This is where we're talking fat and fat is good. Now, whoopsie. Um, right. One of the things I really like because this is the stuff I use in my buttercream for the most part, when I'm making other fantastic desserts, pie crusts, etc., I want the higher butter fat and less moisture, those kind of things. Um, that's what I like my Europeans for. But this is the buttercream I make, and it's this keeps it nice and white. There are other butters I've tried over the years that make it more yellow. Now, trying to color a yellow tinted buttercream because your butter's made it yellow uh, is really difficult when you're trying to go blue and you get like a greenish blue, it's a real pain in the rear. So you wanna make sure your butter is not making your buttercream a yellowy tint. No bueno, right? So that's why I love this stuff, it's fantastic. Um, even, the, even this European one I could use for buttercream and it doesn't make it yellow. However, the Danish, uh, unless I'm using, I'm making a French buttercream and that's yellow anyway because it's got yolks in it. Um, and I want the higher butter fat then anyway. This I would use in a French buttercream, but not my other buttercreams because it makes it too yellow. So you can kind of see, I keep dropping things, what the heck? Can you kind of see, I hope you can see the difference. Let's see. See how much more yellow the Danish one is in the gold wrapper? Can you see that? So that's, this is what I'm talking about, about the color of your butter, okay? All right, um, the Danish is made from pasture-raised cows. Uh, the other cows that Challenge uses uh, don't get um, uh, jocked up with hormones or anything else. They use natural means, but these guys are pasture raised. Remember we were talking about uh, chickens and pasture raising chickens? So um, I just can't help myself. I have to eat some because it's so tasty. This is the high 85% uh, butter fat. Don't judge me. Oh my word, it's so good. It's so yummy. Don't. You're judging me. I see it, don't judge me. Oh, yum, so good. But again, unless you're using, for buttercream at least, if, unless you're using that for a French buttercream, I don't recommend it, especially if you have to um, color your buttercream. But for pie crusts, all sorts of other pastries, um, your, your uh, layered doughs, all those, oh, do Danish, European all day long. Yep, all right, there you go. That's my favorite butter. And uh, go to challengedairy.com, see where it is at a store near you. And again, don't forget to go to americancakedecoratingmagazine.com and get your subscription at 20% off. And I will see you later this week for another tool or equipment in Charity's Favorite Things.